The Galaxy S25 Ultra is still far away, but in the world of tech, things move fast. And there's some interesting stuff brewing with the S25 Ultra that everyone will be excited about. So stick around for a moment. When Qualcomm introduced the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for the S24 Ultra a while back, they mentioned something interesting. They said that starting with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, which will be in the S25 Ultra, they're switching to something called Orion Cores. They're basically new CPU cores that are a big deal for Qualcomm and Samsung. Back in January 2021, Qualcomm bought a company called Nuvia. This company was founded by former Apple engineers known for making top-notch Apple M-series chips. Then, in October last year, Qualcomm revealed that these new cores they've got beat the latest Apple M chip in performance while using less energy. The interesting part is that Qualcomm is planning to use these Orion cores in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. Now we've got a leaked benchmark score to give us a sneak peek at what this chip can do. First off, it's made using TSMC's 3 nanometer nodes, which is pretty impressive. Rumors say its CPU performance might even rival Apple's M-series chips, if not surpass them. On Geekbench 6, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 is expected to score over 2,800 points in the single-core test and crush 10,000 points in the multi-core test. That's a big deal, especially for a mobile chip. And guess what? It's doing all this with just 8 watts of power, compared to its predecessor's 11 watt. That's a significant jump in power efficiency. Plus, rumor has it that the Adreno 830 GPU inside is 10% more powerful than Apple's desktop-grade M2 chip. That's some serious competition right there. We all know Apple has been ruling the chip game for a while now. But Qualcomm's catching up fast. With the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 already on par with the latest A-series chip from Apple, and now with the Orion cores in the mix, Qualcomm might just steal the spotlight from Apple. Now, let's talk about a wild rumor going around. Some tech insiders are saying Samsung is going all in with the Exynos chip for the Galaxy S25 lineup, but let me set the record straight. That ain't happening. Samsung just renewed their deal with Qualcomm, so they're sticking with Snapdragon chips for the foreseeable future. And honestly, it would be pretty crazy to ditch Qualcomm when they're leading the pack. So, don't get too caught up in the rumors. So what are your thoughts on these latest developments? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.